Good morning, everybody. It is St. Patrick's Day. So exciting. Um, I'm just making breakfast right now. We're just having what we call is dad's breakfast. Because um, that's what my dad always did when he was here. Um, so we are just having some eggs, sausage, um, toast, and Ryan's making my ice caramel macchiato. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what's going on right now. Carson is doing her tummy time right now, right next to us. Um, so, I hope you guys have a great day, and I know we're going to. Okay, here's our breakfast. Here is my ice caramel macchiato that Ryan made for me. Let's see, let's try it, see how it goes. Oh yeah. Bon appetit. So we are cricketing Carson's St. Patty Day shirt right now. So it's going to be so cute. We just have our green color here. And then this is the font that we have. It's going to be so cute. Okay, so we are ready. Yes. I'm so excited. All right, we have it in. So I'm going to hit start. All right, we have it ready. We're about to heat it up. Mm. Okay. Get one little extra. Yes. Yeah. Look how cute it is! Ah. All right, I am. Oh, my hair looks great. Um, I am cooking for our meal. I must say Thanksgiving. I always say Thanksgiving for everything. Um, our St. Patty's meal. We're having corned beef that's been boiling um, for about almost four hours. I have my potatoes coming in and then my carrots are about to be done. So I'm very excited. If you guys didn't know, if I've never told you, um, corned beef is one of my all-time favorite meals. In case you didn't know. Um, so I'm very excited. All right, here it is, our corned beef, our potatoes, carrots. I dip it with mustard, Ryan doesn't. And then we got this beer yesterday. It is so good. Have you guys ever had this before? It's like, what is it supposed to taste like? Oh. Sour Patch Kids? Yeah, and it does. I took my first sip and I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Anyways, bon appetit. Carson, Carson, Carson. There you go. Bon appetit. So it's starting <laughs> to wind down for Carson. Um, we're about to do bath time. She absolutely loves her bath time. It's so, so cute. She loves like hot water like her mama does. Um, but I also wanted to show you guys the new baby monitor that we got that we've been really liking. All right. So it is, <laughs> she knows that it's bath time. So I'm going to let, <laughs> I'm going to go grab her and Ryan's going to, Ryan's going to help me. <laughs> so I hear the bath water running. So I'll try to make this somewhat quick so I can get in there and help. Uh, this is the Bonnock long range. And uh, first and foremost, you'll see it's got this like kind of pyramid design. I really like this because uh, it's usually on our nightstand. And uh, I usually have a few things like a water, a phone, uh, other things. And I've, the other ones that we've used have these like kickstands. And they fall over, they fall off. Um, this is pretty stable. And uh, it's a little bit larger than some of the other ones, but the battery compartment is much bigger. And uh, you're gonna get several nights battery out of this. If you're not, if you're not keeping it plugged in and it is a USB-C, um, you don't have to worry if you haven't charged it in a few days because you're gonna get decent battery life. A um, little larger, better battery life. So the first thing that stands out with this compared to some of the other ones is it is the clarity. And I'm sure this won't do it justice, but it is incredibly clear. Look at that. Um, incredibly clear. Um, some of the other ones had decent pictures. I didn't know what I was missing until I saw this. Um, and where this is helpful for me, at least, and maybe some of you do this too, you know, when you're 
several rooms or a floor away from your your little one in the middle of the night, several hours have gone by, you want to check on her. You turn the monitor on. It's already in like a night vision mode. And uh, you've got like a, a zoom in feature, right? So you go to zoom in and you're looking for breathing. <laughs> um, as, as morbid as that sounds, it, it just kind of gives you a peace of mind at two, three o'clock in the morning when you're tired and you want to check on her. And you could get all the way up and, and go and check. Um, but just kind of seeing that chest going up and down makes you feel so much better. So the clarity of this allows me to do that and allows Courtney to do that. And I'll show you here. We can zoom in and hopefully this will, will focus here. But you can tell the details. Um, so at night, that is super helpful for us. The next big thing for me, at least, is... Uh, Similar to some of the other ones, it has these like the, this auto wake feature. So if it hears noise, it'll automatically turn on, which is helpful. But what I really like is the alarm features. So it it, it tracks the temperature, uh, like like many of the other ones. It does have a record feature, uh, but it has these alarm features for both temperature and for crying detection. Um, so if it gets too cold, it'll alarm. If it gets too hot, it'll alarm. And if she's crying, it'll alarm. Now, the crying alarm, I didn't quite understand it at first, but where it really jumped out to me was I had put the volume down where you could kind of hear crying if you're paying attention, but if you have other ambient sounds going on, you're not going to hear anything. And the alarm went off. And I'm like, what the hell is that? It was the crying alarm. And I was like, oh no, the volume was too low. And that's a feature that none of the other uh, systems that we've used have had. And it really was a big selling feature because it's kind of like this backup to, oh, well, I have the I have the monitor with me. Oh, no, I have it muted. Um, so that really jumped out with us. Um, so if you guys are in the market, I you know, the, the last one was great, too. This one um, is our new favorite. And uh, uh, if, if, if you're in the market, I definitely would go check this out. Or if there's other ones out there, go ahead and comment below what, what you really like using. Um, one of the last things is that it, it, is a, um, it isn't one of the Wi-Fi ones. So if you have poor Wi-Fi coverage, you don't have to worry about it cutting in and out. It is using a long range antenna. And you've got that end to end encryption where that's key is you'll see these horror stories uh, with some of the camera companies where they're like, people are hacking into them and you can hear them on the baby monitor and they, kids are getting scared in the middle of the night. You don't have that with one like this. Um, and if you're an older home or a bigger home, um, you've got that coverage and it's not going to drop just because, oh, hey, I'm at the furthest point away from the nursery and I've lost coverage. No, you don't have to worry about with that, with this. So uh, again, Bonnock Long Range. I'm sure Courtney will put a, a link below, but go ahead and check them out. All right. Are you enjoying your bath, little one? <laughs> she loves the warm water. Absolutely loves it. Yeah. Yeah, you're so ready. All right, you guys. She finally just went down and I just wanted to end this video here and I also wanted to thank you. Oh, I already brushed my teeth. I already brushed my teeth. You know you want it. I already brushed my teeth. <laughs> um, so since Carson is sleeping, I am going to sleep now. <laughs> um, But also I wanted to thank you guys from all of the kind words from my last video. You guys are always so sweet. And so thankful, or I'm so thankful, and I just love you guys so, so much. So I hope you guys had an amazing um, St. Patrick's Day, and uh, we guys talk to you guys later. Bye.